Liz Hayes? Well, to answer that question, I guess I gotta go back a little bit. Uh, I first discovered her music when I was sifting through Spotify's song radio in 2017. I was jamming to Pizza by Uyo. Oh, great song, by the way. And then this other sound began permeating my eardrums. Heavy bass, old-school hip-hop vibe, and, to complement it, a powerful duet between a female and male singer. No, I didn't understand the words, but that didn't matter, because it sounded great. Besides, there were two words present in the song that were English, alluding to the title. And July. This song, also the name of the second EP by Hayes, was released in 2016 and still remains my favorite of her discography. But there's much more than that to the tale. Hayes, or Jang Da Hae, was born in Daegu, South Korea. Growing up, she held a large passion for hip hop even back to the days of middle school. According to an interview on the Sunnytown website, back in middle school she would download freestyle songs and rap lyrics to piano melodies. She would later say that she got her artist title from rapper Angel Hayes, whom she was passionate about musically growing up. Hayes altered the spelling of Hayes from H-A-Z-E to H-E-I-Z-E, which in turn changed the meaning of the name itself. As it turns out, Hayes is a word of German origin, meaning to turn something red hot or to warm it up. She has said she likes this meaning. With that in mind, Hayes graduated high school and attended Pukyong National University, where she studied business administration. So you're probably thinking, wait, I thought she would study music. I mean, she's a born artist. Yeah, we'll get there, we'll get there. You see, the thing is, Hayes' father didn't support the notion of his daughter becoming a musician, let alone a rapper. So, likely to appease him as well as to try to find solace in South Korea's large corporate world, she went to school and did well academically in her time there, becoming a top student. This was achieved through what she described as quote-unquote listening to lectures, cramming for tests, and hardly any studying, <laughs> something I can relate to. This, of course, pleased the family, though Justin, and I don't mean the hardly any studying, I mean getting the top student. Though just in speculation, we can assume it was hard for Hayes, knowing how the window was narrowing to achieve her dream to write and perform music. She hadn't given up yet, though, and one day a professor of hers caught her writing lyrics in class. This was the professor, among others, who ended up reinvigorating Hayes to go for her dreams, telling her that if she denied herself now, it would be much more of a challenge to take that leap of faith in the future. This brings us to the production of her first EP, Hayes which was made after moving to Seoul to pursue music and leaving school for a year. Bouncing between a job in a cafe, a tuna restaurant, passing out flyers, and at one point working three jobs at once, most days she only had enough money to choose between getting a food box to split into three meals or taking the bus home. Thus, for that year she lived mostly on lemon-flavored vitamins, sending pictures of food on the internet home to convince her family she was okay and spending all the other money she had paying rent and making sure the EP would be completed. Though it's generally understood that her father accepted Hayes becoming a musician after seeing her grades pan out, and I say accepted very loosely, it's also understood that she still didn't want the humiliation of asking her family for financial assistance to live on as a starting musician. She wanted to do this on her own. Ultimately, she and her friend living off of the vitamins ended up in the hospital, so to this day she strongly dislikes lemon-flavored vitamins, which I completely understand. Thus, things were extremely difficult in her first years, and at a point when she was getting ready to give up, she made an appearance on the show on Pretty Rap Star in 2015 for their second season. She made it all the way to the semifinals, and though she didn't win, she managed to make many waves in the Korean music scene. I'm sure this had something to do with her next EP, and July. This came out in 2016, a collaboration with Dean that brought her reputation and music to the forefront of the K-pop industry, as well as breached the global scene, where I got a bit of a taste of it a year later. Now, admittedly, and July wasn't in print for long, initially before its major success on streaming, as a disc, which I still want, it didn't do as well. 
That likely explains why, after she got famous, the price of the resale shot up to about an average of 100 to 150 times the original price. But for most, streaming is the way to go, and I personally can't complain about the logic behind that, even if I still want the CD. In any case, her collaborations are more than most artists I know. She's collaborated with Chen, Kisum, Jay Park, Suga, Vanilla Acoustic, and tons of other artists. She signed with Stone Music Entertainment, who up until September 2020, when she signed on to P-Nation, have been responsible for her album releases. Hayes is described as the honest singer-songwriter. She writes about her real experiences, relationships, breakups, and lasting values all bundled into her thoughtful lyrics. Her music also evolves. Her first EP, Hayes, was very rooted in a rap style, putting vibrant emphasis on the raw atmosphere of hip-hop and the infused lyrics which she pushes forward with each new song. Angela is the culmination of balance among all things hip-hop, rap, and R&B. To me, this is the album that defined Hayes as a major player in the K-pop world. Though I'm probably just biased, after all, I am just some random Asian guy that likes her music. 2017's You Cloud's Rain is a further exploration of how Hayes can expand on her R&B roots with strong follow-up, making for an awesome listen. I mean, this album has Don't Know You, still an absolutely divine beat. And she was working on other great stuff too, like Sunday with Jay Park. Wind from 2018 is culminating into one of my favorite examples of gracing the line between the melody of strings and the onset of pop and jazz, with Sorry being one of my favorite catchy tunes of the decade. And of course, we can't forget 2019. She came out with She's Fine, We Don't Talk Together, and Late Autumn, albums that defined her musical shift in genre. She's Fine retells Hayes' life with slight revision accenting beat variations and tonal styles to create a story of musical euphoria. Her down-to-earth attitudes unveil and We Don't Talk Together, released July 7th, the same day I saw her in concert in the States. Yes, she did perform it, and it was, you guessed it, amazing. But We Don't Talk Together is the last tune I've heard in her signature R&B style. With her last two EPs, Late Autumn and Lyricists in 2020, as of the making of this video, she seems to be redefining her music for a new era of songs, and I love it. Of course, I'll always go back to her R&B roots as my classical playlist songs, but she's doing great stuff with these new albums. Late Autumn extracts the beautiful reds, oranges, and browns of the autumn landscape in a calm song that feels right out of a nostalgic drama. And Lyricist brings warm acoustics of Brazilian bossa nova vibes to the table along with popish tunes and a lot of well-integrated melody which lays a promising path forward for our beloved Bahé. So, who is Hayes? Well, she is the artist that I'm happy to call my favorite in the Eastern Hemisphere, other than this man right here, but I might do a video on him in the future, we'll see. Her reception and meeting her in real life was a great experience. She has a way of making that moment when she meets you feel really personal. Not hurried or rushed. Or required. Like when I met her, she hugged me, she squeezed my hand and gave me the smile like she was really happy to see me, even though we hadn't actually met before. It meant a ton to me as a fan. Talking with her, even though I don't speak Korean, and showing her the picture I drew was also a great experience that I'll always have. I always love to talk with fellow Hayes fans, so please leave a comment below on your favorite song by her. If you've ever been to a concert of hers, met her, anything, I'd love to hear from the community. Anyway, I hope you guys liked it. Thanks so much for watching, and have an awesome day. And, uh, don't forget to listen to Hayes. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.